the table shows the relationship between input and output numbers. So they're saying that when I put 27 in, I guess you could say to this table, or we're going to be doing something with it. So this is the number we're going to do something with. And after we do that something, we output 9. Interesting. We input 15, we output 5. When we input 6, we output 2. Which rule can we use to find the output when given the input? Pause this video and have a go at that. All right, now let's work uh, through this right over here. There's a bunch of ways we could think about it, but it's the same rule's got to work for all of these inputs and outputs. So this first one says we subtract 18. So when we look at this first choice, if we take 27, and if we were to subtract 18, it does indeed look like, that. well, that would be equal to 9. So that one works. But if I took 15 and I were to subtract 18, I definitely don't get 5. So I don't even have to go to that third row here. I can rule out choice A. So let me rule that one out. See, subtracting 9. Well, that one doesn't work even on the first one right over here. If I do 27 minus 9, it doesn't equal 9. It equals 18. It, does, it actually doesn't work for any of these. So we could rule that one out as well. Divide by 3. This one's interesting. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. It's looking good. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Yep, you give me any input, I divide by 3. It looks like that's the output you're going to get. So I like this choice. Five. This last one's not going to work, but we can verify that. 27 divided by 5 is definitely not 9. 15 divided by 5 is definitely not 5. And 6 divided by 5 is definitely not 2. So that one's definitely not right.